Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel. So we're going to do verses 6 through 9 today as we're continuing with what happens in this really interesting bit. Samuel's gone and Eli, they've gone to lay down to sleep. They're in apparently in the same location, but some distance apart. And Samuel hears a voice. He says, Samuel. And Samuel answers and he says, here I am. And he goes running to Eli because he thought that Eli called him. But it wasn't Eli. It was someone else. Let's find out what happens now as things continue onward. Verse 6. Then the Lord called yet again, Samuel. So Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. He answered, I did not call my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. So he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you did call me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be, if he calls you, that you must say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. So look what we have here. Samuel goes back. He's feeling kind of confused because he really thought he heard somebody called him. He's quite sure of that, but Eli said it wasn't him. That's why when he comes back at verse 6, he tells Eli, oh, you and you did call me. And Eli says, no, I didn't. I did not call you. Very confusing. And yet it's because God is a very subtle communicator. He, he often comes to us. He, he doesn't come imposing. He doesn't come storming through usually. When Moses is out walking in the desert, does God appear to him in a burning bush right in his pathway, like he's got to stop or he's going to run over it and fall over? No. God appears to Moses way off, way off on the edge, way off on the hill over here somewhere on the mountainside. God comes to us so many times in a very quiet way, a very, he, he doesn't force himself upon us. And here with this situation we're seeing here with Samuel, he's coming and saying, Samuel, he's calling his name, Samuel. If God called your name or my name in the middle of the night, how would we react to that? Well, anyway, Samuel uh, is called again, a second time. I did not call my son, Eli says, lie down again. Then we have verse 7, which tells us some more about Samuel. Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord was not yet revealed to him. So the, he hasn't been prophesying. This hasn't happened until now. God has waited all this time, but he has picked him out. He is going to prophesy to him. He's doing it when he calls his name, Samuel. He's speaking directly to him. But we're learning here that Samuel is young. He's just brand new. This is kind of his beginning in the line of being a prophet. So God calls a third time, Samuel. And Samuel gets up and he goes to Eli and he says, you did call me. Here I am. Eli recognizes at this point. He recognizes that, that something's going on. It's at the bottom of verse 8. Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. You know, it probably didn't surprise him too much, did it? He'd seen this, this energetic innocent young worker, Samuel, always so ready to serve. Also, we had yesterday morning, didn't we? That prophecy that, you know, things are going to go bad for you because you have not disciplined your children. You have not kept the priesthood in high, the high space where it should be. So notice the instructions then in verse 9. Eli does give some very good instructions to Samuel. Go, lie down, and it shall be, if he calls you, that you must say, speak, Lord, for your servant hears so Samuel obediently goes and does that. He's laying down, and I'll bet you he's pretty much awake at this point. I don't think he's, he's nodded off to sleep. I think Samuel's laying there with his eyes wide open, probably about as wide open as they could be, because when, when Eli said, he calls you, when he calls you, who could it be but God? So Samuel is, is laying there filled with awe and wonder that God wants to use us. Let's, let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, even though we've made a lot of wrong turns in our life, most of us, I'm quite sure. Lord, it's also true that you are ready to redeem. You're ready to bring us back from, from the dark and awful places where we've been, Lord. Whatever you call us to do in service to you, show us how to do it in a faithful way. Oh, Lord, be our, be our leader and let us, let us be your servants. Thank you for the example of Samuel, Lord. May we learn from this young, very young boy how to be faithful to you, and you be our Father. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, some important things to think about today as we begin this day in service to the Lord Jesus. God be with you.